Good afternoon everyone, my name is Audrey. This is usually my channel about cross-stitch life, the universe, and everything. But as you can see, what I have on my desk today is stuff to do some work in my folio style journals that I am making for six co-workers at the store. So I prepped some paper bags and I cut some strips of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these and that and this to make a little notepad that is going to sit on this side inside the journal. When I was covering each of my journals I ended up with little bits and pieces like this and I'm going to use a little bit of that right now. And I'm going to write something on it. My ladies at the store know that I have a notebook there. And I have written across the front of it, Audrey's Notebook, where I write random shiitake. And that's what I want to put on here, where I write random shiitake. They've all seen my notebook. They've all seen me writing in it. Um, and this is just another little thing to take it back to. These are things from our store and make it all cohesive. I don't need that big piece of paper. Stick that back with the rest of my stash. I want to tear down the edges some because I don't want a lot of straight edges on here. And I'm going to go back to these. First of all, I took a paper bag and I harvested it. And this is actually the back side of the paper bag, so there's this seam that goes across here. And I like that because I can fold this over right at that seam. And it doesn't meet up down here, and one side is a little bit wider than the other, and it doesn't matter because I don't want straight edges. I'm now going to tear just a little bit of that one off there because I don't want straight edges. I have my five pieces of paper. This is just a coffee dyed copy paper and some graph paper. I found a vintage ledger that was made to be used with a carbon copy. This is the tissue side. Love it. Another piece of graph paper, another piece of coffee paper. I have my fold here. I'm going to set that down inside there. And I'm just kind of lining up the bottom edge here to see how long I can have it. And then I'm going to fold the top over. I'm going to take my next sheet of paper, I'm going to layer it on top, stagger it up just a little bit, fold it over. Take my next piece of paper, stagger it up a little bit, there is no such thing as perfect in my world of paper crafting. And take my last piece. Okay. So, this one on top that one inside of that one, this inside of this one, this inside of this one, this inside of this one, and I did something wrong. Nope. Do it the other way, Audrey. Yep. 
Yeah. Do it that way and you've got a waterfall. Put a staple in the top of it. And I can now set this aside because this is done. And now I get to decorate the piece of paper bag that's going to be the cover for my little thing here. My little notepad. A while back I took some of the packing paper that I had and I just um, took three long strips of it. I overlapped them and I glued them together and then I stamped and I decorated and I put washi tape on there and I put little labels on there and I put um, numbers on there, little tags on there and then I sewed over it and I basically made a snippet, a snippet roll. This is going to become part of the cover for this. And I just want to measure it against this top flap here because I don't want it to be too long. But I like where it's at right there, so... I've been up here crafting for about <clears throat> an hour or so. My hands are filthy. And I have moved things around on my desk so much that I can't find anything anymore. Save the piece I'm not using. I don't like the straight edges, so we're just going to tear that off a little bit. And now I'm going to decorate this. I use my manila folder as my stamping background. When I was up here playing with the stamps earlier, <coughs> excuse me. I asked Mark a while back to cut me a piece of plexiglass to put my stamps on. You can buy stamp blocks, but Mark has stuff out in his shop and I figured he'd have plexiglass, so he made me a stamp block. When you're up here, when I'm up here, and I'm trying to stamp and use my block, I actually have to remember that this is the block that I put my stamp on and not the ink pad. I did that. I had one of my little number stamps and I was just going to town decorating these and I tried to attach the stamp to the stamp pad. It didn't work. I have been using the same stamps over and over in this project so that, you know, there would be some consistency going throughout it. This one is from a Tim Holtz package. I have no idea what the name of it is because when I bought it, I got rid of the packaging. I didn't know that I would be doing videos like this and therefore would need to know things, but it's the one that has all the postage stamps in it. This is the one that I tried to stick on here to make it work. It's now black on the back side because I inked it. And I'm just putting them in random places, a couple here, a couple there, switching them out. Okay, I've got those. Get rid of that one. Bring in my big block of writing. I think I got this at Michael's. That's the number if you want it. The UPC. This is uh, Ground Espresso Archival Ink. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything precisely. I've made them all pretty much similar. And now, I'm going to use the edge of this, and I'm going to edge up 
ink up the edge of this just to make it more defined. I'm also going to ink up the edge of my little where I write random shiitake note there and the edge of my snippet. That one's coming off. It's okay. I will glue it down. I will glue it down. So, six ladies that I'm making these for, I wanted to personalize them so that, I mean, all six of these journals are pretty much similar. So how do you make them all different? Well, working in a grocery store, I have access to receipts. And on the receipts, it says, your cashier today was... So I grabbed a receipt with each of these six ladies' names on them. So the receipts I want to harvest parts of them. There's a barcode on each one of them. There's the line that says your cashier was. And then there's this thing down here at the bottom that says, oh, the date of the transaction. You could use any part of it that you want to. But I'm liking things with numbers on them, with their name on them, with the barcode on them just to personalize it. The receipts are printed on thermal paper, which is not very strong at all. But they come apart fairly easily, just don't tear fast. And I'm trying to ink them up to get rid of the stark white look on it. You can't hold this like a regular piece of ephemera and ink very well, so I'm just trying to do it as best I can just to get rid of the, the white. Okay. So where's my little paper clips at? I have these teeny tiny little paper clips I want to use on here. I'm going to use one of those. Determine which way I'm going to have this on here. Put my paper clop, paper clop, my paper clip. No, I'm not tired. A little bit of glue on there. And then put that down. Since that's coming up a little bit there, I'll be able to tuck that underneath it. I like it adds to the layering effect. And once I get that put on, I can lift this up and glue it down just a little bit better. And then the third piece, I'm going to glue underneath the bottom here. 
So I'm actually going to glue on the top side. And do that. The next bit is that I want to glue this down on top of my paper bag and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just run a line of stitching across the top. And you can, if you stitch slowly, you can go over the paper clip with no problem. I have my Yoda slippers on because it's really cold outside. I think it's just now gotten up over 40 degrees today. And my library is one of the coldest rooms in the house. So I keep my Yoda slippers up here. Oops, I did that wrong. I didn't want to sew it closed. Oh well. It'll still work. I wanted to catch my, uh, I wanted to sew it across the front because when I put these inside here, they're going to be caught with the eyelets. So it works just fine anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, I keep my Yoda slippers up here to put on my feet when I'm up here crafting because my feet get really, really cold and this is one of the coldest houses, coldest rooms in the house. Words are so hard sometimes. I use my crocodile and I make my initial punch where I want to set my two eyelets. I just made a bigger mess on my desk. I guess I'll be cleaning today. And then I like to go back in with my regular standard size um, hole punch. And I use the crocodile first because with all the layers that are in here, the first time I tried to do it with just this, I couldn't. Old hands arthritis. Okay. Take out four eyelets. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty then. Put those to the side over there. Bring my crocodile back. Move it over onto the grommet setter, eyelet setter. And these two eyelets catch all the paper underneath, so even though when I sewed I didn't mean to sew it the way that I did, it'll still work. So there you are. I have a little notepad. Five pieces of paper in there means there's ten sheets for them to write on. Now I'm going to take my journal and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to place this where I want it to be here and take my pencil and make two circles. 
and I'm going to punch those holes out. But this one I can do with my regular hole punch. These grommets, eyelets, I've always called them grommets. I heard somebody call them eyelets the other day. I don't know which is right. I do from the outside in because I want them to look pretty on the outside or the prettier side. The non-smash side struggle bus today. Mark made a new camera stand for me today, which is nice because at the angle I have my camera now, I can actually kind of see what I'm working on if I look up, which is helpful for me because I use a Canon camera not sponsored to record my videos. Okay, they look nice on that side. This side is going to be covered. I'm going to reach over into my drawer, grab a piece of twine, Come in from the back side with both ends. Doing these this way, if they used this notepad up and they wanted to replace it, all they'd have to do is cut off the twine, make a new notepad. Come visit me and I'd make a new notepad for them. And then I can put it back in and I can tie it in place. Finger. And there you go. Little notepad there. It fits inside the fold. I just realized I have not inked the inside of this one, so it's a good thing I'm looking here and seeing this. Believe me, I have enough more to do on these things that I will be able to get that inked and it won't be half done. But that's my little project for today. It fits inside there. You see that little bit there. I'm going to put the rest of my bits and bobs of extra paper in, back into that one so that I have them. And then I have one more to do for today. I hope that you got some useful information out of this. I hope you had some fun watching me. I hope you were crafting with me. If you had any reason to like this video, I would appreciate it if you would like and or subscribe to my channel. And thank you all. Until we meet again, live long and craft on, my friends. Bye-bye.